Well, hello everybody, how are you? So um, I am live on Facebook, but you might be watching me in the replay, either on Facebook or in YouTube, because I do this live on Facebook and then I send it over to my YouTube channel. But this is Mindfulness with Mitchell. My name is Mitchell Osborne. You can find me at MitchellOsborne.com. Look right there. And uh, tonight we're doing something kind of cool. Um, it is still Mindfulness. But I'm using mindfulness, I'm using tarot cards or any kind of cards really that have pictures and symbols and images on them to transform you. Um, I'm going to wait just a moment until we build a crowd. Let me know if you're out there and where you're coming in from if you want to. Um, you can at least wave and let me know you're watching. Um, also, let me know if you have some cards with you. If you have your own cards, that's great. If not, I've done something that's going to, I just had to kind of make a guess, but hey, Norm, but I had to just kind of make a guess as to what might work for us tonight um, since we're not going to be sitting right in front of me. But um, yeah, so uh, I, about a year, almost two years ago at Reader's Studio, which is the largest uh, readers uh, tarot card reader convention in the U.S. It may be the one of the largest in the world, but the I think the China one might surpassed it. Hey, Suzanne. But I got to present on two things that I love, and that is hypnotherapy or hypnosis and tarot cards. And I did this two and a half hour um, lecture workshop um, with exercise and everything. So I'm going to do a tiny component of that for you guys tonight, something that you can do very easily on your own. So if you're watching this in the replay or you're joining me now and you have some cards, grab them. Um, if you don't have cards, that's okay. And I'll explain what we're going to do in just a moment. But I do have some images, um, and I'll show you what I'm going to be able to do. I do have some images that I'm going to be able to pop up, um, pop up over there, right there, that um, you'll be able to focus on and use as kind of a focal point or like almost like a mandala, um, something like that. So let me get rid of that because we don't need it right now. That was the Empress, by the way. So, um, yeah, so we're just going to use it to transform and in a minute, um, what I'm going to do is get you guys quiet um, and take you into just a little bit of mindfulness. It's going to be more exercise tonight than me talking because um, I want you to feel how this feels. But I'm going to take you into a quiet, meditative, mindful state. Um, it may be a slight hypnotic state, um, but more of a mindful and meditative state, which those are very, very similar. And I'm just going to have you focusing on a couple cards. And we're going to, if you if you were sitting in front of me, we would choose a card that represents um, not such a pretty kind of a thing. So we might choose, uh, we might choose the Four of Cups. And we might look at this card and we might say, okay, you know, this guy is hesitating. This could be, you know, feeling lazy or procrastination um, or fear of moving forward, especially emotionally, because cups are about the heart, emotions, love, romance, you know, all matters of the heart. So, I, like I said, I've got these cards because I may be able to just use them for you. Even if you just use what I have, you're going to get a, a, a great little meditation. So we might use that one or... We might use, say, this one. This is the Ten of Swords. This guy is throwing himself back on Ten Swords and looks painful. This could represent physical pain. So someone who might have like fibromyalgia or just some chronic fatigue or some kind of pain all over, this might be their focus. Because what we're going to do is we're going to pick an A and a B. The A is where you are, how you feel right now, the crap that you're going through right now, that's your focal point. And we're going to feel it. We're going to connect with it. And then I'm going to use either a blank card or the fool, because I like the fool as the like the journeyman to move on to something new. And then we'll pick a B card. And a B card will be the pleasant thing that we're going to move into. So um, another idea that I'll be using tonight, maybe the eight of coins. If you're a workaholic, um, that might be a card to focus on. Um, let's see, another one. Coming into Thanksgiving, this might be your family um, event, <laughs> arguing, fussing, and fighting. Um, so that may be what it is. And you guys, if you see a card that resonates with what you're going through, let me know because then I may use it. Just depend. If nobody else chimes in, I'll use your card because I'm going to leave the cards up there while we go into the mindful meditation. 
And then some of the ones that we'll, we'll look to as being a little bit more positive or where we want to go to or transform into, the star card. This is about hope. This is about rebuilding. The strength card, if you need to find strength, feel strong. You know, if you've, if you've got that workaholic card and you need to tell your boss, no, I'm done working this hard, things need to change, you might want the strength card to step into. Um, another one, if you're looking for love, you know, this could be it. You know, say you've got, this is what it'll eventually look like. So say we've got like the Four of Cups and the Lovers. And what I'll do is I'll put these two cards up like this. And then I will bring the Fool in the middle. And we'll transform this energy from this procrastination or afraid of finding love using the Fool's energy in the middle to transform into the Lovers or finding that soulmate kind of energy. Um, so that's kind of how we're going to do it. Um, let's see, I think I have, oh, yep, I've got one more. The lover, we take down the empress. In case you need to start something new, begin something, you know, you're wanting to birth some idea into existence, this is a great card. But also, this is about abundance. So that's another reason why I chose this one. So, so yeah, so that's what we're going to do. And these, these Monday night mindful meditations with Mitchell or mindfulness with Mitchell, usually about 30 minutes. Um, so they're not that long, but I just want to always introduce an idea and something you can do and practice on your own. Um, so, so there. So let me know um, if you've got like an issue going on. If I have one of the cards that will fit it, I'll definitely pull it up. I just can't go grab another card and put it in there. So if you are just joining me, we're going to use some tarot cards images, choosing an A, a starting point where we are, the frustration, the anger, the loss, the fear, and a B card, you know, the abundance, the love, the strength to move and shift into. And we're going to do it through a mindfulness kind of meditation. Um, I will take you into a quiet time, relax your body, your mind, um, and the images will be on the screen. I'll close it up where you can't see me because at one point I'll say, now open your eyes and look at card A, where you've been. You know, then close your eyes and then let's open your eyes and look at card B where you're going. And if you need help, the card in the middle, which I'll probably use the fool, can help you journey, can help you move across because the fool is ready to go at any time. So, so you guys out there, hey Mary, how are you? So you guys out there, I know there's just a few of you out there watching, but if you have any questions, let me know because, um, or if you have any issues you're going through or any of the cards, let me show you what we, what we have. Four of Cups may be about kind of like procrastination, afraid of love, um, the Ten of Swords. This one could be about just pain, physical pain, suffering. Eight of Coins could be working too hard, not knowing where to, to delegate. Hey, Tricia. Um, and then the Six of Wands could be about arguing, fussing, fighting, family stuff. That's the one I'm going to use if nobody says anything because we're coming up on Thanksgiving. And then same thing, what do you want to transform into? Do you want to transform into a star? Do you want to transform into a place of hope and rebuilding? Do you need a little bit more strength? Um, do you need to find that love or use your relationships and your connections to help move you forward? Or do you need the inference, abundance and, um, you know, growth and, um, you know, connecting with Mother Earth a little bit more? So, so yeah, so let me know if any of the cards resonate with you. If you need me to pull them back up, I can. Because about two minutes, I want to start the mindfulness meditation. I'll put the images up so you can't see me, but you're still going to be able to hear me. If you have earbuds, they're great to use. So, so yeah, let me know if you have any quick questions. Otherwise, I, I'll give you about 30, 40 seconds because sometimes it takes a little time to get for me to get the message. There's a little lag time. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to go through a mindful meditation transformation using the tarot cards. If you have earbuds, great. If you have your own cards and you know what cards you want to pull, you can grab them. Um, but uh, feeling like I'm hibernating and dysfunctional. So, Suzanne, I'm trying to think, which card... You know, it's funny, I almost pulled up the, the hermit, but for me, the hermit feels really good, so I didn't pull it up as a kind of a negative one. So, um, hibernating dysfunctional. So, Suzanne, do you feel like this one is a little bit more like by yourself hibernating, or do you feel like this is more the dysfunction? Or is it all just causing you physical pain? <laughs> so, let me know which one. Hey, Mary. Oh, good, Mary. 
So Suzanne, you can just say the cups or the wands, and I'll use the, whichever one you say. So about one more minute, we'll get started. So Suzanne, um, if you if you want to write something great, if not, I'm going to use the five of wands, which makes me feel more like the dysfunctional one. I'm drawn to that one more for you. Um, it, I, hibernating? So I don't know what hibernating means. I mean, I don't which I don't have a card for hibernating, so I'm asking you which card you want me to use. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use this card, the cups. Okay, got it. Cups. Let's use that one. So um, I'm feeling like, do we need hope more than anything? You guys, chime in. Do we need hope? If someone's hibernating and there's feels dysfunction, do we need hope? Do we need strength? You know what, Norm? I think the Four of Cups will go with the with the a bit lost as well, because this guy looks like he's looking for answers. So, um, or Empress. I'm kind of being I'm being drawn into um, to the Star card for everybody, because that's about hope. And if you're hibernating and feeling dysfunctional, then that will bring some hope about the tool for me, uh, the fool for me at the moment. So the fool, Mary, is going to be our transition. So it sounds like you may have already been, been in that transition process, which is kind of cool. So what's going to happen, this is what you guys are going to see. So that way you don't see me. <laughs> so you're going to see just these cards covering the screen. And then I'm going to be talking to you about, you know, what to, what to do. So let me take this one down for a moment. So um, I'm not the fool, although I will be. So, so yeah, so new ideas. So, all right, so um, I'm going to take us into a mindful meditation. So I'm going to put the fool up, and I'm going to ask you and guide you and coach you guys. We'll be just out for maybe about 8 to 10 minutes at the most, and then we'll have a little question answer at the end. So this is not a very long one. So um, go ahead and allow your eyes to close. Ground your feet as much as you can. Feel the ground below your feet. Relax your shoulders. Allow your shoulders to drop. Place your hands wherever you can. Hopefully you don't have to hold on to the phone because you're not going to see me in just a second. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put the fool up. So with your body as relaxed as you can get it just to start with, I want you to just bring your awareness to your breath. And when I say bring your awareness to your breath, all I want you to do is just follow the breath in the nose down the windpipe, into the lungs, and back out again. And if you choose to breathe in and out your mouth, that's absolutely okay. So just follow your breath in the nose or mouth. Imagine what it looks like going down into the windpipe, into the lungs, and back out again. Now every time you take a deep breath in, let it be natural, let it be normal, no forcing of the breath. Just make sure it is a deeper breath. Every time you breathe in, I just want you to think or repeat in your mind the word relax. So that every time you take a breath in, just simply repeat in your mind the word relax. And as you repeat that word relax, it's almost as if you're giving your body permission to do just that, to relax. You may feel your body a little heavier in the chair. You may feel your feet flattening out on the ground or in your shoes. You may feel the weight of your arms on your legs. You may feel your shoulders sag as you become more relaxed. So just practice each inhalation repeating the word relax. And as we do this collectively, we are bringing in beautiful, safe, peaceful, calm energy. Just follow the breath in the nose or mouth, down the windpipe to the lungs, and back out again. And every time you inhale, think the word relax. And now, each time you exhale, I simply want you to think or repeat in your mind the words release and let go. And as you exhale, 
And as you think or repeat in your mind the words release and let go, just imagine you're releasing any and all tension, letting go of anything that's not serving you right here, right now for your highest good and greatest growth. So follow the breath in, thinking the word relax. And as you exhale, repeat the words release and let go. And give yourself permission to relax the entire body, to release any and all tension, to let go of anything that's not serving you right here, right now for your highest and best. So maintaining this very peaceful, calm, relaxed, safe feeling I want you to, for just about one or two seconds, to open your eyes and look at the four of cups on the screen. Memorize that picture of that guy with his hand on his knee and his chin and the hand looking up at the cups and just allow your eyes to close back down. And as you have a vision of that guy, if you lose that vision, simply open your eyes and close them back down. Right now, solely focusing on the Four of Cups, the gentleman on the card looking up at the Fourth Cup. Now, this cup may represent to you procrastination. This may represent feeling lost and wanting to hibernate from all people. It may make you feel like you're ready to start something new. You're ready to bring new ideas into life, whatever it is for you. Just Encompass that feeling and see how that guy, even though it's a guy, you can be a girl or a guy, imagine yourself in the forest there looking up at that fourth cup, how frustrating it is. So go ahead and feel that frustrating feeling right now. And just make a mental note how that feeling feels on a scale of 1 to 10. Is it a 10 being so dramatic and so overwhelming? Or is it maybe just like a seven? Or is it a four, a little more manageable? Just make a mental note of what number it is. And now I want you to just briefly open your eyes and look at the Fool card right in the middle of the screen. That Fool floating in outer space with the little dog attached to the, to the scarf. And as you look at that fool, just think of how free and ready they are for a new adventure and just allow your eyes to close back down. And as your eyes close back down, continue to hold the image of that fool as your guide, as your helper, as your pure inspiration and total potential to move away from that four of cups that Four of Cups of feeling lost, dysfunctional, maybe hibernating. That Four of Cups of maybe ready to bring new ideas in. And this fool will take you to the next step. So go ahead and open your eyes gently and look at the star card all the way on the right of the screen. And as you see that star card, it brings hope and fills you full of hope and inspiration. And just allow your eyes to close back down, holding the image of that star card, that beautiful enchantress, that, that pixie or fairy as she floats above the wreckage, bringing hope for rebuilding and moving on. And as you continue to imagine that star card, if you lose the image, feel free to gently open your eyes, find that star card and close your eyes back down. And just bring that feeling of hope into your body, into your existence. And as you do, perhaps you feel a warmth in your heart. Perhaps you feel a tingling throughout your body. And that tingling and that warmth is of hope, is of ready to move on with that new idea, is feeling functional, is feeling ready to venture back out into the world, is feeling direction and guidance. And being lost is a thing of the past with this hope in your heart. And this star card brings that idea that you've been pondering into existence. 
So just sit with that star card energy just a few more seconds. Allow that hope and that to come to fruition. And as you feel that hope within your body, start to take some deeper breaths and allow that star card image to stay with you. But start to bring the words back into your mind. Inhale, relax. And when you exhale, just think, release, and let go. Inhale that beautiful star card energy of hope. And as you exhale, release any of that procrastination, hibernation, any of those feelings of being lost. Just let them release. Knowing that the fool is there to guide you, to be your GPS. Now one more time, open your eyes to the star card. Focus solely on the star card, especially that one star right in the middle. And as you take another deep breath, allow your eyes to close down one more time. And as you breathe, allow all the words to gently fade away to where you're just left with your breath. Just left with the breath. Starting to take some fuller, deeper breaths in. On the next exhalation, just wiggle your toes just a little bit. Next time you exhale, maybe wiggle your fingers just a little bit. Now the next time you inhale, lift your shoulders up. And as you exhale, set your shoulders down and back, sitting up nice and tall. And the next time you exhale, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Welcome back. Focusing on that star card as your guidance, your hope, your rebuilding. So welcome back, everybody. Suzanne said she had some tingling with hope. Very good. Anybody else want to share what they experienced? And hello, Colleen, Lisa, and Debbie. You came in as we're in the middle of the getting the mindfulness meditation going on. So I couldn't say hey to you. <laughs> so I had to stay focused. But if you missed the mindfulness meditation where we transformed the energy from one side to the other, and I purposely left just the star card up so that way you're only looking at that. You can do this with cards in your hands. What I did was I had people flip them over, focus, 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 flip it back. Use the guidance, the full card, whatever in the middle, flip it over. Flip over the star card or whatever card was at the end, and then just hold on to that. So, yeah. So let me know how you guys are doing. Let me know that you're back. You didn't fall asleep. <laughs> so I'm going to take the star card down now. So, guys, give me a little bit of feedback, at least just like give me a thumbs up, let you let me know that you're there, because I know there's about five or six of you out there. Felt more hope, more relaxed at the end, beautiful. And the good thing is, is it's like you set something in motion, and with, with mindfulness, with hypnotherapy, a lot of times this is peeling the layer back, and it starts to unravel more and more, and you start to grow and shift and change, even though our time in our session is done, things happen. So, you're welcome, Mary. So when all of a sudden you start to feel some of the stuff that we got rid of creep in, just remember the star card. That's another reason why I love the cards because they're images that you can remember. Yeah. So just remember the images because that will help. Yeah. Great, Debbie. Yeah, it feels good. Sometimes just catching the last. Maybe that's all you needed was the hope. <laughs> but you can go back and watch it. You can go back and practice this quite a bit as well. But you can also pull your own cards if you want as well, which is kind of cool. Um, and they can be any kind of a deck as long as the images represent something that you're feeling right now and you don't want to feel and then a place you want to go to. But yeah, so it's very, very beautiful. Hey, Michelle. So you guys, any questions about what we did, let me know. And if you're watching the replay, tag me if you have a question. Like say, you know, tag Mitchell Osborne. That way I see it. Because sometimes I don't go back to these because the threads get so long because they're up there for such a long time. This also, I put this over also on my intuitive um, Mitchell page as well. So you guys, I want to, um, I want to give you this code. So I'm going to post it. This is a code. 
And this is 50% off. This is the workshop I did um, two years ago, and I redid it online a couple years ago. Um, but that's a 50% code off. You can click on the Wellness Universe Live, Learn It Live, and then you want to find the Transformation with Tarot and Hypnosis, and that use that code to get 50% off. Um, it's a it's a it's like almost an hour hour and a half class. I think it was. It was quite a long one, but there's several more exercises in there as well. So it's kind of cool. Um, also, the special of this week is the House of Life spread. The new moon is happening tomorrow. So I've been doing a bunch of new moon manifesting spreads. Um, if you were to purchase that, I'd probably get it back to you tomorrow night, even though we're day out. But it still will work very well. You're welcome, Colleen. So you guys, let me know if you have any questions, because I'm just going to hang for about another one to two minutes. And if there's a little lag time, when you guys type and post, it takes about 20 seconds to get to me. But So I don't want to cut you off before you had time to say something. But thanks for being here. Um, a week from tonight, V and I will be doing readings. Um, I do this every other week, Mary, um, because in other words, every other week I do this, and every other week between that I do one card readings with V on Monday nights. But uh, thank you, Norm. Same to you. Happy New Moon and Thanksgiving. But yes, Mary, this is something I do. And if you guys, if you ever want a private mindfulness session where we work specifically on your stuff, and we can do this exercise, and we can do, I have multiple mindfulness exercises. But if you go to MitchellOsborne.com, you can book a mindfulness session. It's 40 bucks for a 30-minute session. Sometimes we go 35, 40 minutes. But we can do it via FaceTime, Skype, phone. We actually can do it through phone as well. Um, but yeah, so check MitchellOsborne.com, book a session, you can see my schedule. My schedule is usually available Tuesday, Thursday evenings, either 7 p.m. or 7.45 p.m. or Saturdays between 9.30 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. Because I do have a full-time career in fitness. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Colleen. So happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Happy New Moon Manifesting tomorrow. We are officially in Sagittarius. Scorpio be gone. Um, so yeah, and then we're coming into the seasons and you guys next year, 2020 is going to be a beautiful year. The numerology of it is amazing. Lots of partnerships, lots of weddings. There are already, I can see so many weddings happening next year already. Um, but yeah, so a lot of cool stuff. So, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please don't hesitate. You've not seen it before. Um, so Mary, what was the question? Oh, yes. Um, so I have Mitchell Osborne Facebook page and the Mitchell Osborne the Intuitive Messenger business page. The business page is where I put these links and events. And if you click on the event, then it kind of reminds you. Um, but then V and I, I do that on my Mitchell Osborne, like regular person page. Um, so I'm trying to keep them a little separate just so I can keep each page um, involved. But yeah, like the, like the business page and friend me on this page or the other page. This is the business page you're on. So, but yeah, so this is about my third one of these. We did some EFT tapping last week. The week before that, I just did um, Welcome to Mindfulness and What Is It and How It Can Do. Oh, your star sign. Um, your star signs. And the star card is Aquarius. The Aquarius is attached to the star card and um, tarot. So um, maybe that lines up. Or is Sagittarius your star sign? Is that what you're telling me? So, all right. Thank you, everybody. Have an amazing day, night, weekend, whenever you're watching this. Until next time, I say to you, namaste. Bye-bye.